Hi, welcome to Zircon's headquarters and research and development department in the Silicon Valley area of California. Today we're going to talk about the Zircon Metalliscanner MT6 Metal Locator. Now you may have noticed that some of our multi-scanner stud finder products have a metal scan mode. So you wonder why would I need a, a dedicated metal detector like this? Well the difference is that this can scan much deeper for metal. It can give us the depth and also uh, differentiate between ferrous and non-ferrous metal. So for concrete, this can find rebar up to six inches deep. So if you look at the screen, plus sign means we're getting closer to the target, and minus sign means we've passed the target. And in the center, we have the depth or the signal strength bars, and there's inches on the left and centimeters on the right. And right below the plus minus sign, it's giving us a horseshoe magnet, and that's telling us this is ferrous metal. Yep. And if you're scanning through a framed wall and you want to find or, or avoid copper pipe, this will find copper pipe, also six inches deep. Uh, tell us how deep it is, and also differentiate between ferrous and non-ferrous metal. So here's how you use it. It's important that you calibrate the unit away from any rebar, away from any metal at all. Now, normally you're scanning through concrete, we're scanning through plastic, so you're gonna be able to see how the tool responds. So if I were scanning through concrete, to make sure that I turn the unit on and calibrate away from any metal, I'm gonna turn it on in the air. Make sure you don't have any watch or rings near, near the scanning area. And now I'm gonna do a pre-scan. And you can see that I, the signal strength bars bump up slightly when I go over the rebar. And I also get a plus sign turns to minus sign when I pass the rebar. And I get a slight bump there. So I'm gonna look for the spot where I have no depth bars or the least amount of depth bars. And that's the spot to press the recalibration button. And now you can see that it zeroes out that ambient signal, and now it bumps up much more when I go over the rebar, and it makes it much more obvious where the rebar is located. Now this is a very difficult scanning environment because the rebar is so close together. In many cases, you have a wider rebar grid pattern, and it's much easier. But that doing that pre-scan and calibrating the unit in the right uh, location is a critical a step to get that right. Notice that if I happen to calibrate the unit over rebar and move away, now it ramps up with a non-ferrous indication. So make sure that you always calibrate it away from the rebar. But the other thing you can use it for that's really handy is for finding studs in lath and plaster walls. And this is difficult for a traditional stud finder because even though this lath and plaster wall is very smooth on the surface, the backside has all kinds of plaster that squishes through the cracks here and it keys on to the other side. So it's a very inconsistent thickness on the other side of the lath and plaster wall. So what I'm gonna do is look at the, I'm gonna look for the tiny nails or little brad tacks that are fastening every piece of uh, lath to the stud. So. I'm going to turn it on, and as I scan along, I say, okay, there I've got some metal, and if I kind of go in an S shape, I can see that I'm tracking something. Now if I go up and down this, plus minus signs very quickly are going on and off, and so that's telling me that I am finding all of these individual little nails, and it's not a solid piece of pipe, for instance, because that would give me a uh, a real solid signal all the way up. It wouldn't be going plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. So the main benefit of using MT6 over other metal detectors is that it's very simple to use, it's very accurate, and also it's very fast to use. So saving time is really important to a lot of users, and the MT6 seems to fit the bill for that.